What's up, beautiful people? Welcome back to my channel. I'm not even going to hold y'all. Let's go ahead and jump right into it because I've been reading through the comments, okay? And I noticed that there are a couple of people who had an issue with me mentioning race in the video that I did where I talked about me precepting a nurse new to specialty, new to ICU for one shift. And basically that nurse ended up leaving because what I found out was that she was being bullied her entire four to five weeks on orientation. So in the video, I basically discussed how the preceptor and I had a conversation and I had to present some historical facts and to provide some context to the preceptor around race, why she might have those perceptions of the orientee or why the orientee might have been behaving in a certain way. And a lot of y'all took issue with that. Like some of the comments were saying things like, why did you bring race into it? Race does not matter. It's not just about race is not the issue here. It's about women not knowing how to treat other women. Oh, you was wrong for talking about race. And I was like, what about my conversation with the preceptor because some of y'all was really mad that i brought race into it and the reason why i brought race into it because everyone working in healthcare should be aware of the racial issues that can happen within healthcare even as it pertains to nurse nurses and staffing within certain units now a lot of you all who had a problem, you guys really need to go and do some more research. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to go far. Pull up some YouTube videos and listen to some of the stories that a lot of black nurses can tell you about their experience, specifically working in ICUs or specifically when they apply to ICUs, what happens. Historically, ICUs have been predominantly white. When black nurses apply for critical care, specifically ICU, they usually in the past would get rerouted. And when I say in the past, as recently as 10 years ago. Now, a lot have changed post pandemic because I mean, there's a staffing shortage, like no one wants to work. So now you see more black nurses within the ICU. That never used to happen. It never happened. As a matter of fact, if you all, if you get a chance, check out my videos. I have a three-part video where I talked about ICU gatekeeping and the challenges I faced getting into the ICU. It is a real thing for Black nurses, and I'm not going to sit here and downplay it to appease to anyone. And for the preceptor to understand is all of the different nuances and the dynamics that race can play for black nurses coming into the ICU because I'm pretty sure and if you're a black nurse and you're in ICU or you're applying to ICU or you've applied to ICU leave me some comments before we get into ICU or even when we tell our friends our other co-workers that we're going to apply for ICU the feedback that we get is usually girl are you crazy are you sure you want to go work there all them white nurses, you saw what they did to such and such. She went there and a month later, they took her off orientation and downgraded her back to telemetry saying that she wasn't keeping up. So my whole thing with bringing that up was because the preceptor said that the orientee was behaving in a certain way. She wasn't doing this. She wasn't doing that. So I wanted her to understand. You have to understand what's probably going through her mind, right? She's probably scared as I don't know what being around y'all because of the stories that she's heard coming into the ICU. Like white nurses, you guys really need to be aware of the conversations that's being had about the settings that you all work in. When you all are the majority in a setting, when other races want to come in, like especially black nurses, I can't speak for anyone else. We are usually extra cautious and mindful because historically... It ain't never really work out good for us. Just recently, maybe not even two or three months ago, the ANA, the American Nurses Association, put out an official, an official apology for the racism within the nursing profession, for the racism that has carried on for years and years and years and continues to seep through like different areas of the profession in management, in academia, in critical care nurse. The ANA put out such a statement and put out an official apology if race was not a thing in nursing why why now and me talking about this does not minimize it's not to minimize other people's experiences of course in some icus you have nurses be it black be it white that are just terrible people and that have poor people skills and just they aren't kind 
So, of course, you can be white and have a bad experience. I'm not minimizing that. That's why a lot of you that left comments saying things like, oh, well, I'm white and that happened to me. Of course, I don't doubt it. I don't doubt it because of just bad behavior, poor behavior overall. But my point in this video was to let the to to get the preceptor to see to think on a bigger scale and maybe to help change her approach in how she's dealing or how she's going to move forward dealing with the orientation. So here's the thing as well. I'm an experienced nurse and they put Mary with me. Mary did excellent. So once the preceptor came to me and said that she had all these issues with Mary, when me, the experienced nurse, is saying, Mary doesn't have any issues, where does that leave me? What does that lead me to believe? And I'm not going to sit up here and pretend as though subconscious bias does not exist. Because I think I mentioned it earlier on in this video, maybe I didn't. But historically, nursing has always been a white woman's profession. Also, historically, ICUs have also been predominantly white. I don't know if there's some, some kind of subconscious bias that played out in this scenario. And so I mentioned it to kind of open that preceptor's mind. Like, girl, you might need to do some reflection on how you really feel about this young lady. Because the things that you're saying about her, the bad evaluations that you're giving her, they're not warranted. So what's really causing you to feel this way? I spoke to her about different issues. We talked about the fact that she's been precepting quite a bit and she felt a little bit burnt out. I told her she was a novice nurse. I gave different scenarios as to what could possibly be causing her to give Mary such bad feedback. So it wasn't just me only pointing out race. I pointed out several different things. However, you guys focused on race a lot because talking about race makes a lot of people uncomfortable, but it doesn't make me uncomfortable. Not to remember too that not only am I a nurse, I'm also an educator, but nurses are also educators at baseline because we have to educate our patients and their families on so many different things. But as an educator, it is my responsibility to present multiple different scenarios to get people thinking. That's just what I do. So even when I'm instructing nursing students, if my nursing group is all white, I can have a group of all white students. I talk about race with them because race will affect them in their careers. I always explain to my students, sometimes you can be doing the most fabulous job and you'll have an elderly black patient that wants nothing to do with you simply because you're white. And that is a form of discrimination. Is it fair? It's not fair, but I have to teach them and explain to them that it's no fault of your own. This is based on history. Historically, there's always been a mistrust, mistrust of white nurses, white providers, from black patients. That's that's just history, it's just a fact. I would be doing my students a disservice, my white students a disservice, by not presenting that to them, by not educating them and making them aware that this is something that you will face in your career. Uh, I'm tired, I'm not talking about this anymore. I started my tr local travel assignment today. They kept us there all day, nine to 5.30, watching a bunch of modules. And I'm tired, so I'm going to bed. I'm going to take a shower and go to bed. I'll see you all in another video. Thank you all for watching. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can't thank you all enough.